Because it all belongs to you, Jesus. I thank you and I praise you and bless your holy name. Hallelujah, God. I pray that you come to more in our souls and help us and bless us to be the people you want us to be. And Father, I pray that you just bless us and help us. We thank you for what you've already done for the meeting. And oh, God, we want you to come to more. Come to more, Lord Jesus. Let us send your anointing and send your glory and your power. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, we need more of you. We need more of you, Lord, and less of us. More of you, God, more of you. We're asking for more. Oh, God, we need you. If we ever needed you, we need you now. It's trouble in the land, hallelujah. It's trouble in the land, God, hallelujah, God. And we need you. God, we've always needed you, but we need you now. Hallelujah, God. I pray that you'll move by your power. Move by your power. Pray that you save the unsaved. Save by your power. Save in the name of Jesus. Give people a mind to turn to you before it's too late. And help your people that's called by your name. Help us to seek you while you may be found. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Help us to seek you with our whole heart. Help us to be the people you want us to be, God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just thank you. We praise you. And we bless you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, my Thank you. Hallelujah, my Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you say, oh, Jesus. Come on in, God. Come to more. Let your presence be great in the midst. Let your word have its free cause. Hallelujah, God. on the night, God. Bless the speaker. And Lord, just have your way. Have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we ask it in Jesus' name and we praise you and bless you for who you are. The great and mighty God that you are. Thank God. Amen. second chapter starting at the first verse now we beseech you brothers by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by the spirit nor by word nor by the letter as from us as that the day of Christ is at hand may God have a blessing to the reading of the word
Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, how many of you glad to be in the house of the Lord today? Come on and put your hands together. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Oh, how can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? How can I forget? No, never. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, never. Oh, how can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? How can I forget? No, never, oh, never, never, never forget, never, 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 never forget. Say never, never, never forget, never. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. How you made a way when there was no way. I won't forget. How you opened up when they were closed. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. How you kept me God. How you made a way. How you made a way. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. I won't forget. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget no name. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah, Lord. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, He is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, He is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, He is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, He is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, Yes, He is. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, He is. Oh, Traveling shoes, Lord. Got all my traveling shoes. 
Traveling shoes, Lord. I love my traveling shoes. Traveling shoes, Lord. I love my traveling shoes. Traveling shoes, Lord. I love my traveling shoes. Traveling shoes, Lord. I love my traveling shoes. Traveling shoes, Lord. I love my traveling shoes. Oh, good Lord Almighty. There's a storm out on the ocean. And it's moving this away. If your soul's not hanging in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Oh, there's a storm out on the ocean. And it's moving this away. If your soul is not anchored, you will surely Drift away. Drift away. Oh, Lord, say, say drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. Say you drift will surely drift away. away. If your soul is not anchored, anchored Jesus, you will surely, surely, surely drift away. away. Oh, there's a storm out on the ocean and it's moving. Away. If your soul is hanging in, in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Drift away. Oh, say drift away, Lord. Drift away, Lord. You will surely drift away. If your soul is hanging in you will surely drift away. Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? What to him say? Well, that good as we enter in the doors of the Lord. Well, what do you want the Lord to say? Oh, what do you want the Lord to say? I want to hear him say, well, that's good, as we enter in, oh, Lord, it's like you want the Lord to say, oh, it's like you want the Lord to say, he's going to say, well, that's good, as we enter in. That's what I want my Lord to say. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I want my Lord to say. Wanna hear him say, well done, that good and faithful servant. Wanna hear him say, well that good and faithful servant. Wanna hear him say, oh Lord, good and faithful servant. Wanna hear him say, when my journey's over, wanna hear him say, well as we enter in, come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Hey, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Oh, I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy when I think about what He's done for me. I get joy, 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 joy. What is done for me? Oh, what is done for me, Lord? What is done for me? Oh, what is done for me, Lord? What is done for me? Oh, what is done? What is done? What is done for me? Oh, what is done? What is done? What is done for me? I get happy when I think about what is done for me. I get happy when I think about oh, what he's done for me. I get happy when I think about what he's done for me. I get happy when I think about oh, what he's oh, done for me. Well, that's what he's done. 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 He opened doors. He opened up for me. He made a way. 
He made a way for me. That's what he's done. 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 Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Oh, Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Oh, Lord, Jesus, I'll never forget nothing. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Oh, come on and put your hands together. Because he's made a way out of nowhere. Come on and lift them up in this place. Oh, it's the holy convocation. I need somebody to stand up on their feet and give God some praise in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Welcome you to our 68th Holy Convocation of Ohio Southern Jurisdiction. You are feel free welcome.
It didn't make the pain when I get saved. It didn't seem to matter, but to just a few. But up in glory, the angels were shouting. It may lose in heaven when I get saved. The angels were shouting. He By his power divine, I'm saved through new life sublime. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete for I'm saved, saved, I'm saved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing us to come into your presence one more time. Lord, I ask that you speak a word on, on right now, Lord, that will heal minds, body, and soul. And these blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. Truly, I give an honor to God who is the head of my life, to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to Bishop uh, Porter, to Bishop Carter, to the elect ladies. Um, I do know protocol. I just don't know who to call so to all the elect ladies and the, and the great men of God that is behind me, I do give honor to the watchman on the wall for my soul, my pastor, Elder Nevels Jr. And I give honor to my first lady, Lady Nevels, because while he's watching for me, she's covering him. And I do give honor to her. Um, I'm going to give you something, just something to think about that you can put in your pocket and think about it later. Um, we're going to go to Isaiah. Isaiah, the fifth chapter, and the 14th verse. I do have two scriptures, but if you will stand for this one, and then you can wait for the other, you don't have to stand. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, and the glory and the multitude and the pulp, and he that rejoices shall descend into it. You may hear this. He said, Hell has enlarged herself. Nobody knows how big hell is. But hell has enlarged herself. And sadly, there is a lot of people going to hell. The Bible tells us that the road is crowded with unbelieving souls. And it doesn't matter if we don't preach hell, heaven, or hell messages. Because if they, we don't preach it, then they don't believe it. And if they don't believe it, then they don't think, everybody thinks they're going to heaven. But the sad part of it is, it's nobody's fault but yours. If you end up in hell, there's nobody's fault but yours. And I tell you all today that I'm not going to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I don't want hell to make room for me because I'm not coming. Hallelujah, because it's hot down there. Hallelujah. God said that the unbelieving souls would be there. That the liars, the fornicators, all of those people, I don't want to be in hell. And she is enlarging herself daily. Now I'm going to go to Revelations, the apocalyptic gospel. And the, 20, the 21st chapter and the 15th verse says, and he that talked with me had a golden ring in his hand to measure the city. Now he's measuring the city. Now remember, hell has enlarged herself without measure. And the gates thereof, and the walls thereof, and the city lie four square, and the limb is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 
12,000 furlongs, the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal. And he measures the wall thereof, a hundred and forty and four cubits according to the measure of a man that is of an angel. He that taught me how to go in the reeds, heaven is four square. Heaven remains constant. Hell has enlarged herself daily. That's because God don't have a number. It is a prepared place for a prepared people. Everybody is not going to heaven. Go going to heaven. The world is not going to heaven because the, everybody in the church ain't going to heaven. God has a number of who is coming, and he already knows if you're going to choose him right now. It's built for square. Jesus tells us in my father's house, there are many mansions. There are many dwellers. If it were not so, I would have told you. Now look, after he said, I would have told you, there is a period there. He never said that we were going to have a mansion. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. This is the place that God has went and prepared for his people. Hallelujah. How many people is going to heaven on the day? Are you sure you're going to heaven on today? Hallelujah. If you end up in hell, there's going to be two things that will bother you and will almost kill you if it's able for you to die. Is it the fact that you deserve that? And the second thing is you chose that. Every time you come to church and you leave out of here the same way, you chose that. Even every time that sin presents itself to you and you indulge in it, you chose that. Hallelujah. Anytime that the preacher asks you to come down and give your life to the Lord and you say tomorrow, you chose that. Hallelujah. Everybody is not going to heaven. Hallelujah. I went, I'm going to sit down, but I'm going to tell you, when I took a class, in a class, the professor told us, he said, look to the left and look to the right. He said, by the end of this semester, everybody, somebody won't be here. And I'm going to charge you tonight to look to the left and look to the right. Everybody ain't going to be in heaven. And keep in mind that this, two of them people was looking at you. And I'm going to tell you this, that space is limited. So it's time to get right with God. It's time to stop playing with God. He said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face. <laughs> are you seeking them on today? Hallelujah. How many saved folk in the room? How many saved folk is in the room? Hallelujah. Don't fool me now. Don't tell me you're saved here and then when I see you outside, you're drinking liquor or you're smoking or you leave here and go to your hotel to a man or a woman that don't belong to you. Hallelujah. Everybody's not going, so I'm just going to tell you, space is limited. One thing for sure and two for certain. I don't care how many times people tell me to go to hell. I'm not going. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God for the word of God. At this time, we're scheduled for a music selection. And it's coming at this time. Amen. Grateful people in the house. You probably didn't hear me. I say, are there any grateful people in the house? Oh 
for their faithfulness. Amen? Praise God. We praise God. We praise God. At this time, we're going to give this portion of the service into the hands of our bishop designate in the person of Pastor Superintendent George Carter. Let's receive him. God bless you. Come on, put those hands together one more time for the Lord. Come on, come on, for the Lord, for the Lord, for the Lord, for the Lord. Come on, wake your neighbor up. Wake your neighbor up with your praise. Come on, wake him up with your praise. Wake him up with your praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wonderful God. Look at somebody and tell them it's a God thing. It's a God thing. It's a God thing. Oh, wonderful Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, come. Go. God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Truly. Amen. I praise God. Truly, He is worthy to be praised. And I do honor the Lord and to Bishop Porter. All of our fine guests on tonight, amen. Thank God for evangelist uh, Ruby Terry, amen. God bless you, amen. Thank God for our bishops, visiting bishops with us on tonight, amen. Stallworth, yes, amen. Come on, let's give him a hand, amen. amen. We thank the Lord, amen, for our state supervisor in her absence. But we want her to know she might be watching right now. We want to show her that we love her. Come on, come on, come on. And just in case if she can't see, let her hear that we love her. No, no, let her hear that we love her. There we go. Amen and amen. Amen. We truly, we thank the Lord 
Amen. It's now time to back up everything that we say. It's now time to be a blessing to our supervisor. Amen. 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 We're going to ask everyone to prepare themselves. Amen. We're going to ask you to uh, stand to your feet. Amen. As amen, Bishop Porter comes, our jurisdictional prelate, Bishop Porter comes to us. Amen. And take this service. Amen. As he chooses to take it. Let's say amen as he comes. Bless you. Amen. Yeah, right. Praise the Lord. I ain't playing with y'all. Amen. God is good, isn't it? All the time. Look at somebody and say, I'm so glad you came to church. Amen. We got somebody tonight better than Kirk Franklin. Amen. Y'all hear me? Better than, thank, I want to thank my Neville daughters over there for not wanting to go to see Kirk Franklin tonight. And, and what's that other group called? And the Maverick. Amen. We got somebody better than all of that. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you. Please take your seats. We appreciate each of you and certainly to Bishop Desinant uh, Carter. Thank you, sir. And certainly to Evangelist uh, White, this missionary. Bless you. Great job tonight, our women. Amen. Lady Perry, bless your heart. Amen. I just found, you know, the longer you stay with people, you find out things uh, about where you are and Though uh, I've been with you all for over a year now, since I think I came maybe June, June or July, right? And, um, and certainly grown to love so many of you, and we appreciate you and your steadfastness. And I, you know, uh, Pastor Jones has always been intriguing to me, and uh, I'm certainly thankful. And I found out today that uh, his wife used to be the supervisor. I, so you're a daughter of a supervisor over there. Look at that. I didn't know that. Man, you know, when you hang around people like uh, Timothy James, and you just hear all kind of conversations. They tell you everything. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. We're so happy for you. And can you help me celebrate everybody that tuned in tonight on Facebook and YouTube? Come on, y'all. Clap your hands a little better than that. Thank you for joining with us on tonight. We have some extraordinary guests that we'll tell you about in just a few moments. Someone I'm very endeared to, and I know the strength of God in her life. You're in for a treat. I hope you brought your shouting shoes or your dancing shoes, should I say, and your shouting voice. Amen. Certainly to the host pastor of this church, let's praise God for Pastor Neville's talented, gifted man of God. Thank you. Cathedral Church. Give Cathedral Church a hand for their hospitality and steadfastness, making everything right for us here, and certainly to all of our administrative assistant butts who's back in the back working, and, and to administrative assistant Darden. God bless you, sir. Amen. And to all of our superintendents, Anamusi and Salter, and we thank God for uh, our visiting uh, bishop as well. So glad that he's with us again. Uh, Dr. Stallworth, thank you, sir. Amen. He's dressed up over there to all of these great uh, men of God, and thank you so very much, our adjutant, sir. Thank you for being in support of this meeting and with us, and to, I think I got everybody pretty much, but uh, certainly we thank God for you, and we are here tonight for a special reason. All of you, thank our, our president, lady president hospitality. God bless you, sweetheart. She's somebody special. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to miss y'all when I'm gone. Amen. I'm going to stay here until I, I can get gone, but I'm, I'm going to miss y'all when I'm gone. Amen. Because you're some beautiful people. Give yourselves a hand. This is Ohio Southern Jurisdiction. Make some noise, Ohio. For the many that are watching, thank you for... That's right. That's right. Thank God for... Because you are... You are a historical jurisdiction. There's so much legacy and, and length to whom you are. 
You've touched so many. Just think of the many souls that have been saved right here in this, this cathedral, amen, through this, this jurisdiction and the great leaders, men and women that have passed through. Thank you so much for uh, welcoming myself and, and Bishop David Hall, who is in his convocation now, why he couldn't be here with us, but we were both sent to, to um, help you through this transition, and we appreciate him and his uh, gift to the kingdom as well. And clap your hands for Bishop David Hall, if you don't mind. Thank you. I didn't bother him this week because I knew he was in his convocation, and as much as the people loved him there, he did not want to miss that for sure. Uh, but I want to thank God. Tonight is uh, our supervisor's night of celebration. And I know the strangest thing on earth happened, but it happens, right? Especially in this season where she and her husband both um, have, have been challenged in their health. But we're thankful that they're okay. Amen. And uh, we love you all and we appreciate you. let us I know you've done it probably 30 times already, but clap your hands again for supervisor... Renee Brandon, amen, and administrative assistant, uh, Dwight Brandon as well, amen. What a sweet lady, what a sweet lady, and, and since I've been here, you know, uh, leaders have to be strong, and, and let me say something to you, anybody who demands that you be weak, then they have no strength themselves. Uh, we have some of the, the greatest personalities on earth are strong black women. Amen. I thought you said a little something. Amen. Is that right? Strong black women. Amen. And we are proud of you and we thank God for you and your leadership. And you have to be a strong man to handle a strong black woman. Is that right, somebody? That's right. Because uh, she has her opinion. But if she's saved, you know, she's got a special way of letting you know she has it. Uh, I don't know about these other folk. Amen, somebody. Uh, I was born uh, uh, of a strong black woman, and I'm married to one. Amen. And I was just looking at my granddaughter the other day, so she's going to be a strong black woman, too. <laughs> and so I'm thankful. Listen, uh, we want to honor, though, Mother Brandon, you know she'd be here if she could. If she could have put on 30 masks and come, she would have. But we insisted that they remain where they were and rest up and get better. Uh, this is not the end. This is the beginning of your new journey. And we've been giving our pledges. I was going over with our committee and our finance team of the pledges that have come in. I want to thank you. Let's clap our hands. So everybody's paid their pledge. Thank you. We ask for pledges towards the support of the meeting. And, you know, how many of you understand that even though you make an appeal, you don't always get 100% support, Right. And no matter what. So the faithful few, it's just the faithful few that hold up everything together. Even in your ministry, if everybody was a tither, man, there'd be nothing you couldn't do. Right? But, um, you know, you have to survive sometimes and manage and thrive with those who do. And so God sometimes blesses the faithful few to get the job done. Amen? And so we want to appreciate those of you that yoked with us with the uh, Zoom pledges that we gave in support of this convocation. And there are many of you that did not make a pledge, and, and we're in this new age now where we talk to you and to that camera back there. And so we want to appeal to you that if you've not uh, paid a pledge, some of you may have made a pledge, but most of the people, let me say this, the people that made the pledges, most of them have paid them. It's just that we didn't get as many more people to do it as we needed to have. And that's because you all didn't call your cousin them and tell them, you better make that pledge, right? See, and that's what the church has to learn to do. And I don't want to talk too long here, but that's what the church has to learn to do. Each one reach one. Amen. Uh, when you, if you're teaching Sunday school, the last portion of your class ought to be every member should be a tithing member. You know, if you, if you over choir rehearsal, before, the last thing y'all before you dismiss, every choir member should be a tithing choir member. You've got to close with the oneness of the church so that we all speak the same things, right? Because, you know, I won't talk to many of the people that you speak with because I don't know most of them, but you're going to speak to them. Matter of fact, you've been texting them while you were in church. Amen, somebody. And so you need to text them and say you need to turn your pledge in. Come on, y'all got to help a brother out. Can I make y'all the assistant bishop tonight? 
Amen. <laughs> Text them and encourage them to do that. And for those of you that are watching, we need your support. There's several ways you can give, but I want you to know that we're going to love our mother Brandon in her absence tonight. She's watching with us right now. So virtually, it's the new church. She's here. And, and, and Superintendent Brandon, Administrative Assistant Brandon, they're both here with us as well as others of you. And, and they're giving as well. They've been giving every night. Amen. And uh, I paid my $2,500 pledge. Yes, I did. I'm proud to do it. Amen. And, um, and I'm going, and I know, I didn't say it so you could clap. I'm sorry. But I'm going to continue to give tonight. And I know when we gave our pledges, they were encompassing our official gifts and other gifts that we would give. But because I know that uh, we've had some challenges with some of our attendance, we had great crowds and great services. Oh, my God. Uh, but some of the giving has been a little challenging, so I'm going to give a little extra tonight. I'm going to give an additional $500 because I want us to bless Mother Brandon. Amen? <clears throat> and so, um, and then we've been giving back to you. I, I uh, signed off on some grants tonight, last night, or today, should I say, uh, that we're giving out glory grants to five churches. Amen? Five churches will get money from the jurisdiction to further your program. We've got five graduates that we're giving money to. Amen? That's right. And we're going to do all of this on Friday. Amen? And pastor, if you're not here to receive your glory grant, it will go to somebody else. Amen, somebody. You got to show up. If you want something, you got to show up. I thank God for that because I just got a call while I was getting ready for church uh, that I told you all that our church was given a grant for $2.3 million uh, with this COVID stuff that's going on. But then I just got another grant for $63,000 today. Amen. That's right, for our church. And because it helped us to give out food. And many times if you're going to do ministry, I'm sorry to talk so much, but this is important. Many times you're going to do ministry, you got to do ministry first. The $63,000 was reimbursement. Okay, to us for, for the 300,000 families we fed during the pandemic. You hear me? Amen. So federal government's not going to give you money anymore today. I just got another uh, $75,000 for a community center that we're building. But they're saying uh, do it and then we'll come and bless you. So they don't trust the church like they used to just give y'all money and y'all run away and buy Mercedes Benz and then, then you'd be dressed up in an orange suit the next time we see you. Amen. So they want to make sure you are a good investment. Are you hearing me? And it's the same with God. Check this out. You can't ask God to bless you with more if you're not faithful with the little. If you're faithful with a few things, it'll make you what? Ruler over much. Amen. And so that's what we want to be. God's going to put you in charge. Tell somebody, God's about to put you in charge. I want to sow and, and give to Mother Brandon. It's not just, Mother Brandon, it's not just what we sow, but where we sow. I'm giving this additional $500 because of your spirit, because of your kindness, because of your commitment to this jurisdiction. And I believe you, woman of God, are good ground. Amen. See, so it's not just what you give, but where you give it. Somebody's giving right now in the casino. Oh, yeah. But they're not going to get the return that I'm going to get. Amen, somebody. Somebody's giving in the liquor store right now, like Mother was saying. Where did she go? Our speaker. Oh, I enjoyed you tonight. I never heard anybody say it like you just said. And that is that uh, heaven has what? Limited seating? What did she say? So, limited space. Look at you. You cut up tonight, girl, because... Because hell is enlarging itself right now. Hell, hell looked at some of y'all tonight and put some more chairs out. <laughs> Amen. Because some folks look like they're on their way, right? Amen. Well, in heaven, they, they, pulling, they pulling dividers. Oh, they ain't coming. They closing off wings and stuff. Amen. So, my God, thank you for that word you blessed us on tonight. We're going to stand and give, and forgive me for talking so much, but I wanted you to understand my heart. Uh, I believe you have to give from your heart. Is that what you stand with us now? Y'all look like y'all get ready to stand. So no, he ain't through talking. Come on, stand with me now. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for allowing me to be me. I don't know how to be nobody else uh, but, but me. Amen.
Uh, we're going to give and thank our financiers and those who are helping us as we sow. There is Giblify that you can give to. That's Ohio Southern Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. If you will look that up and then look up uh, for Giblify, and it's on, for those of you that are watching, please like and share if you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, and you in here can pull up those pages and share them with your friends as well. We're also uh, giving on Cash App, that is, that's the dollar sign, Ohio South J1. Y'all have trained me well. Ohio, what did I just say? Uh, dollar sign, Ohio South J1. Amen? Ohio South J1. And I hope I don't get back to my church and say that and they send y'all money. Amen. So uh, make sure that you are giving to those uh, addresses and we appreciate you so very much as we do ministry. And then, of course, you know, you make your checks out uh, to OSJ. OSJ. That's who you make your checks out to, okay? OSJ. We operate off of a budget, so everything goes into our general fund. Is that okay? OSJ. Thank you so much. Will you stand with us? Thank you. And for those of you that are watching nearby, we're going to give. Will you put that seed in your right hand? Put it in your right hand. That's your hand of covenant. That's your hand of agreement. Amen. Now put it in the atmosphere of faith. And Father, I thank you now as we prepare to sow and minister back to the kingdom. And I pray, God, that you will cause increase now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray especially for these that may not be able to give 500 but they'll give $100 tonight in support of this incredible woman of God. So I pray, God, as they would sow that seed of $100. And for that person that can't do that, as they give their best tonight, we pray you'll do the rest in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I want to ask our administrators and our pastors and preachers, if you would give a hundred dollar seed tonight just to help us in this cause, you can bring it and put it in my hand. If you want to get any of you can give a hundred dollars. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you. Our guest is giving two hundred dollars tonight. Evangelist Terry, Supervisor Terry, come on. I see you. Pastor Terry, that's my friend, y'all. Many years, many years. Come on, bring that seed. Thank you, Mr. Raven, Sister Darkie. Thank you. Let's give a hundred dollar seed. Those of you that can, love you, man. Thank you, Pastor Terry. hundred dollars. Give that hundred dollar seed tonight. You all can do it in the audience too. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Sam Moore, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, is with us tonight. Thank you, Pastor Moore, is giving a hundred dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Nevels is giving a hundred dollars. Thank you. Dr. Smith is giving a hundred dollars. Dr. James is giving seventy-five. Thank you. Thank you. Bishop Desmond is giving a hundred dollars. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. So good, so good, yeah. Lord, you are good. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Showers of blessings are coming. Amen. Thank you. Let's say amen for the hospitality as they come.
God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those of you that are watching, thank you for sowing that seed of $100. I got many people telling me they're doing that. Get your best. Amen. Continue to sow. And remember, you can give any time in this worship service. God bless you. Deacon Kennard back there. Amen. He's still been out dressing me every night. Amen. Bless you, sir. That's right. Where is, is our deacon here? Where is my deacon that's 96? Is he here? Where is he? Is he? I'm looking for him. I don't see him. He, he walks to church every day. Amen. Y'all, make sure I get to him. I told him I want to give him something. Amen. I want to do that tomorrow. Listen, quickly, um, uh, a couple of things now. And, and remember, Superintendent Brandon is our secretary. So he makes our announcements. And Bishop. you all have turned me into the... Bishop, yeah. he's over there to your right. And that's my deacon. Tell deacon to come and hand me that. Deacon Young, would you come to the front, please? Deacon Young, you're being summoned by the bishop. Deacon Young, come on up here, Deacon Young. Help him up this way. Deacon Young, he is 96. Wow. Hey, Amen. Stay with me, YouTube and Facebook. This is a blessing here, hey, amen. Come here, Deacon Young. church every Sunday, right? You remember here at, at uh, Cathedral, Pastor? Yeah, I've been a minimum here ever since. I hope move here. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> you hope y'all move, he says. All yeah, right. Yeah, well, I've been here before, before they are, uh, when we were on 105. Yeah. Well, I've right been right with them ever since 82. Since 82. And D, you are 96? 96. My oh. Lord, when's your birthday? <laughs> April the 6th, 1926. April the 6th, 1926. Hey, Amen. Come on, praise God for you all. Uh, and you walk, you don't drive anymore, do you? No, no. Uh, thank God. But he uh, <laughs> he walks to church. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, no. Every day, even this week. He Look how he's getting around. Yeah. God is good. What you want to say about the Lord? What you want to say about the Lord, Deke? He's good. He is good, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He have healed my body so many times. I've been operated four times. And uh, my pen is busted, but... Look at you. Uh, yeah, I had to call 911 on. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. But the Lord have blessed me. Yes. And uh, yeah, I had to call 911, but I had to call my pastor. They, they, uh, they say right. I had... Had uh, one to three Jesus. hours to live. Oh my lord! My whole body was poisoned. My God, that's right. And I called my person. bishop. Yeah. And see, they were gonna send me back home. If I'd have come back home, yeah, I wouldn't have been here today. My God, yeah, thank this, you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Look at but God. they did a good job to me. You know, <laughs> the Lord healed me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Well, I've been seeing you all week walking the church and climbing those steps coming in here. And I say, you know, I want to bless him. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy you a $100 worth of McDonald's or whatever you want to eat. What's your, <laughs> what's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Well, my favorite food is chicken. It's chicken. I should have known that. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Well, God bless you. You go to Popeye's and tell them to have their way, okay? okay. Love you, Dee. God bless you. Come God on, let's praise God, God for Deacon, Deacon Young, y'all. Oh, yeah. He's got a prophetic name, doesn't he? Deacon Young. My Lord. Is Deke married? Is Deke married? No. You're not married, Deke? No. no. Deke said no like I'm available. Hey, Amen. That may be why you're living so long, Deke. But anyways, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Did I? Did, bad bishop, bad bishop. Hey, 
Amen. Sister Kennard is going to come uh, with our showers of blessings. We have a drawing we do for those who register. Not only are we giving out scholarships this week, not only are we giving out grants to local churches that are doing some projects to promote ministry and growth, but we are also giving showers of blessings out, uh, and that is to those who have registered. And we got a little, uh, what do you call it, drawing basket or something. Yeah. Who wants to pull the names? Come on, Dr. Smith, pull the name for us. You preached so good last night about LeBron James and stuff. Huff and puff, yeah. All right. Um, is this the name on top? Is that L. Dotson? Is that right? Mother Dotson. Where's Mother Dotson? All right. Give it to Superintendent. Anamusi, take her her gift. That's some cash money, mother. Mother's 88. God bless you, mother. You go on to Popeye's too then. You still driving? I ain't worried. My car ain't here. Amen. All right. Sister Jennifer Lassery, is she working in the finance room? Sister Jennifer, give her a hand. That's your daughter? Mother says she'll take it for her. <laughs> her husband will get it. All right. That's her husband. That's Jennifer. Says, God bless. He, uh, he put it in his pocket, Jennifer. Jennifer, he's got it in his pocket. <laughs> Thank you all. All right. We're going to give out some more on tomorrow night. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Sister Nikki. Appreciate you. Listen, uh, I know our time is moving on and we want to get our guest up. Can I go ahead and present our, our guest? I know. Listen, she has an extensive bio. If you go to your program, you can read it. Uh, this is an incredible woman of God. I've known her for many, many, many years. My mother, who's gone to heaven, and, and she was born in 1927, uh, and she passed. When she passed, she was 93. And uh, she loved this woman of God. You know, my mother was a singer, too, uh, and uh, just an incredible soul. Um, but I'm so thankful that her schedule will allow her to come. She uh, newly appointed, right, to uh, first jurisdiction of Louisiana as supervisor. Come on. That was Bishop Royal Wimbush's jurisdiction, the historical jurisdiction. And a tremendous woman of God has served with her husband in ministry for many years, and the Lord took him to heaven. But we're thankful for her life and passion. She is a national recording artist. Amen. She is so good that when we got ready to do one of our other albums uh, with, I think, Moses Tyson and some others, we flew her in so she could sing Old Rugged Cross on our album. You had to pull it up and, and hear Evangelist Ruby Terry. I love her. I love her spirit. She's so down to earth. She's so gifted of God, has a tremendous word in her mouth, and the Lord uses her prophetically as well. You are in for a treat tonight. Amen? And, and what a blessing it is, because we didn't know that Mother Brandon would be a challenge tonight, but the Lord had a ram in the bush. Isn't that something? God's about to do something for you. I'm thankful and I pray and I thank you, Holy Spirit, because I believe every night he's taking us higher. And what we need from God is right here in this room. Won't you say that? Prophesy to yourself. Say, whatever I need from God is right here in this room. Amen. And those of you that are watching, you may not be in this room, but guess what? He's in your room because he's ubiquitous. He's everywhere. Amen. So whatever you need is right there with you, too, if you stay locked in to us. Again, like and share so that others can be blessed by the same word and experience that you're about to be touched by. I feel God while I'm up here. Something about to happen. Oh, it's good. God is setting us up for something. She's a psalmist herself, so we're going to let her come. Will you stand and welcome this woman of God? She's been flying all day. You know, the flights have been so messed up. 
and she had some delays, but she hadn't had a chance to get any rest. We didn't get the chance to take her to eat, but, uh, but she's here with us. Uh, can I tell you that she's not only anointed, but I'm going to give you another word that's important in the kingdom. She's a professional. There you go. Now, now, now no, I'm so sorry. I forgot to call up Elder uh, Sam, but we'll bring you up. Elder Sam Moore, who's with us, who's going to be teaching tomorrow uh, about church growth. He's one of our national church growth leaders, and we'll bring him up at the culmination of this service. You'll hear from him. And we have our breakfast tomorrow as well, right? We'll tell you more about that. Clap your hands and receive this woman of God. Come on. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Is there anybody in this house that love the Lord on tonight? Yeah, look at your neighbor and shout, neighbor. After all I've been through, tell them I still have joy. Oh, I'm nervous because I got all of these wonderful men behind me tonight. But look at your neighbor and shout, neighbor. After all I've been through, I still have joy. Well, 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 don't look like y'all have no joy out there. I don't know what's up out there. But look at your neighbor and shout neighbor. After all I've been through, tell them I still have joy. Ah, yeah. Let me just settle down here. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. While you're standing, get your Bibles and pray for me tonight. But there is a quick word, a short word. If you pray for me, I'll be through in a hurry. But if you don't pray for me, I don't know. Uh, the Lord spoke to my heart and gave me this to bless the house with tonight from the 85th Psalm and verse 6. And then I'm going to tie it in with something else. I thank God for blessing me to arrive safely over the airways to be here in this wonderful convocation and I thank God for his grace and mercy and even after getting up around three o'clock this morning to make my flight got to the airport and and then they said something was wrong with the hydraulic situation or whatever and they uh, deplaned us again and got off the plane and uh, we sat there for about an hour and they said, well, don't look like whatever connections you have, you're probably going to miss them. So I took a walk down the hall and I said, Lord, you know what? You have given me the assignment. And I said, Lord, it's up to you to work this out. And here I am. Here I am by the grace of God. And all through the airport, for whatever reason, God has just been giving me people to walk up to me and just say, uh, something about you, the Lord is getting ready to bless, whatever. Could hardly get out of the hotel for a group meeting me. Never met them in my life, but began to say what God is doing. And you all, I mean Jesus all the way. I'm so grateful for the invitation to share in ministry on tonight. Amen. I give deference to the illustrious bishop. Nobody like Bishop Brandon Porter. Nobody like you. When I say he is my friend, my friend for life, he and his lovely wife Melody, they never change. They're always the same. And he looks out for me in the national. 
Everybody don't look out for you. Amen. Been going to him, ministering to him, and whenever he calls, whatever it is, amen, I tell him that I can come. And Pastor, amen, I thank God for you, Pastor Neville's allowing me to come here as you've been the host pastor. And you know I love you and your wonderful daughters. Thank God, amen, Bishop Stallworth, thank God for you. Amen, Dr. Moore, thank God for all of you. And then the bishop designate. Thank God for you. Designate, amen, I know you superintendent now, but Bishop Designate Carter, God bless you. And I thank God for all of you men of the cloth. Amen, thank God for the wonderful adjutant sent to our precious presider tonight. And to Mother Brandon, I know you're watching, but I believe God is in the room with you now. You and your companion, and thank God for being a healer. Because by the time we get through, you subject to be running around in the house. Because I feel the anointing of God. To all the wonderful, precious women of God, to all of you, I don't know you by name, but to everybody, amen. And I thank God, I thank God for my wonderful family, my two sons who are both ministers in the gospel and one of them has a little beef with uh, Bishop Porter and he says that, uh, tell Bishop, don't be scared. He said, just meet him out on the golf course, don't be scared, don't be scared, yes, uh-huh. So if you would pray for me tonight and two, my bishop, who I know is watching, the Honorable Bishop James W. Proctor and his lovely companion. I love my bishop and his wife, Dr. Isorda J. Proctor. And to my pastor that's watching, amen, administrative assistant, Michael Cuba Jr. and his wonderful wife, Sister Malena Cuba, and praise God. And I just thank God for everybody that's watching. To all of my wonderful friends, brothers and sisters, that are watching by social media. There is a word from the Lord tonight. And God is going to do something fantastic up in this house on tonight. The 85th Psalm says, Will thou not revive us again? That thy people may rejoice in thee. I said, David, how can you ask uh, that question when you've been through so much, but you still have the decency to say, God, I need you to meet me right where I am. And then I heard, I heard, yeah, the writer, some says it sounds like Brother Paul that wrote it, but even though Luke was responsible, but Acts chapter 2 and verse 4 said, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly, somebody shout suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And, 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 and that's enough. You may close your Bible. You may close your Bible. You can read the rest of it when you get home. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do for us, in us, to us, and through us tonight. Now, God, let your word go forth. Let it break up and tear down everything that's not like you. God, I can't do nothing without you tonight, but with you I can do all things. Hide us behind the cross and lift us up where we belong. And God, I dare not try to take any of your glory, but all the glory be yours in the name of Jesus. On your way down, tell your neighbor, neighbor, I want the Lord to revive me again. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love you. 
Jesus, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How I love, 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 Jesus, oh, yeah. He, because he fell. Father, watch it. I, I stretch. I, I just felt a little Baptist. I'm sorry, Bishop. My hand yeah. to, to thee. Watch it. Uh, no. I feel Jesus. I feel my. I feel him. I feel him. Jesus. He never felt. Jesus. He never felt. He never felt. He never felt. All right, y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Heaven and earth shall pass, uh, pass away. Y'all sit down now, sit down for real, sit down, everybody sit down. Jesus never, woo, never fail. Mother Brenton, this is for you now. God has been good to me. This is for you, Mama. He's been good to me. Yeah. More than you are so well could ever be. He's been good. He's been good. Yeah. To my, 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 my. Yeah. Come on in here with me. He tried. He tried. He tried. He tried. He tried. Yeah. And instead of you just sitting and looking at me, you ought to lift your hand and say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. I won't complain. Now sit down. Sit down. I could, but I won't. Good Lord. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The devil is a liar to us. I don't know about y'all, but I came to praise God. The devil tried to shut me down. But I'm here by the grace of God. Ooh, in Jesus. I know that's not how you're supposed to introduce him. Ah. Oh, Lord. But I hear a war cry up in here tonight. Y'all oh, right. sit down, sit down.
revive me again. How many of y'all know we need a suddenly move of God? As we transcend to and through these perilous times, we have been bombarded by the fallen rocks of mutilated humanity. We have been scorched by the very fiery suns of trials and pandemic pestilence. While the world is still experiencing global concerns that pandemic issues have plagued not only the United States, but the entire world. We are cognizant of the fact, brothers and sisters, that you cannot put your trust in uncharted waters of opinion. Our world is in trouble. Violence is at an all-time high. All of our world deranged foreign leaders engaging in wars. And the devil is having a field day in America and in our communities. If it ever were the time, saints of God, it's praying time. Can I get a witness? God said to Solomon, I've seen your tears. I've heard your cry. And I have a solution for the problems you're dealing with. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. I will forgive your sins and I'll heal the land. Tonight, I pray this message will motivate each of us tonight to seek a new vision. Somebody shout new vision. And a new interest in the things of God. If God wants to do a new thing, how do we embrace it? God will do a new thing after COVID. Anybody believe that? If you want it, you can have it. He will revive us again. God wants to do a suddenly move in the body of Christ. The prophetic anointing is shifting the atmosphere. Ah, are we ready to embrace it? Brothers and sisters, especially the sisters tonight, the handmaidens of the Lord, the daughters of destinies, amen, we must manage change through possibility thinking. We cannot indulge in self-aggrandizement and satanic attacks, which intentionally try to keep us in spiritual bondage of yesterday's disappointments and failures. In life, all of us will incur ups and downs, distractions, infractions, subtractions, during our holistic journey, but you and I must understand the process of contending for the faith in ministry. Failure is not the end of your destination. It's just a bridge to your future. Can I get an amen? The word of the Lord encourages the believers to stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free and be not entangled uh, with the yoke of bondage. As we prepare for greater works in every area of ministry, there is a clarion call to the church to seek more of God. This is why we have come and gathered here at this convocation. So that we may leave here with more than what we came. We must not allow manipulators and dictators and stagnators, procrastinators and instigators to dictate our destiny. Every one of us must understand the intensity of trials and tribulations. In everybody's life, some rain gonna fall. But if you can stand the rain, mm, the sun will shine after a while. Brother Peter said to us as saints, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fire of trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. I'm feeling better already. But rejoice in as much. In other words, Brother Peter says to us, stand strong, saints. Don't worry about the evildoers. Every trial and tribulation has an expiration date. So all you got to do is just keep on fighting the good fight of faith. 
remember Brother Isaiah said in 43rd chapter, 18 and 19, the verse. In other words, he said, stop tripping over yesterday's stuff. Uh, stop dealing with frivolous stuff. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. He said, behold, behold me, look, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. God said, preach, Isaiah. He said, tell him and I'll put rivers in the desert. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past, God says to us. Ah, because I'm doing a new thing. Watch, watch me, God said. Watch me, watch me. Turn things around in your favor. Amen. Do you not perceive it? He said, because I'm trying to help you out of your wilderness experiences. Isaiah's writing to the children of Israel came at a bleak period of their history. In their captivity, it says, amen, but they have lost everything. And they were homesick for the land and the blessing God had promised them. Somewhere along the line, they lost their desire, saints, to follow after God. Rather, they followed after their own selfish desires. So the Apostle Paul encouraged us as believers in Romans 12 and 1. He said, I beseech you, I beg of you, I don't hear nobody talking back to me. Therefore, brethren, sisters too, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies. Amen. A living sacrifice, somebody shall hold it acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be not conformed to this world but, but be ye transformed uh, by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God the time is now we must motivate ourselves to seek a new vision and a new interest in the things of God so if we really have a desire for God to do a new thing the question remains brothers and sisters how do we embrace it our past need not be our future God has a bright future in store for us if you and I will accept it and believe it Jeremiah 29 and 11 says I don't care what happened in your past Matter of fact, anybody got, amen, a problem with your past, tell them to talk to God about it, huh? Amen, stop allowing folk, amen, to hem you up and, and blackmail you in the church. I know I ain't talking to nobody here. Amen, God said, Jeremiah, tell them that I, I seen their tears, I've heard, amen, and I know what they did. But God said, remind them, amen, that listen, I know the plans that I have for them. Declares the Lord, the plans for peace and not disaster plans to give you a future filled with hope. If you read your Bibles, the Old Testament prophets told us about the disobedience and wars among the Israelites and the other nations. Matter of fact, even Moses had to deal with dysfunctional church folk. They wasted time wandering around in the wilderness experiencing unnecessary retaliation. I'm feeling better already. Amen. That delayed their blessing. Trying to do things their way. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about the children of Israel. Uh -huh. Ignoring the voice of God. Worshiping idol gods. Resisting God's leader. So, so the word of God reminds us again in Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Then, then, then you move to the New Testament. And then you will find the words left on Holy Writ. Matthew 24 and 6 said that in the last days, somebody shout the last days. Tribulational deception. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. You see, then, amen, that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. How many of y'all know that we're living in a time now that nations are rising against nations? Kingdoms against kingdoms. And there shall be famines. We're already just dealing with that now. Never seen gas prices so high. But one thing about it, brothers and sisters, I believe this, that if gas get $10 a gallon, ah, I'm like Brother David said, I've never seen the rights of the forsaken, nor his seed beg for bread. I believe God knows how to sit up an IHOP in the wilderness and send us some bacon and some biscuits and give us some money to buy some gas. Can I hear somebody up in here? Amen. God has not forgotten about us. But oh my God, here. Amen. I know there are a lot of things going on. Amen. We are perplexed. 
trying the experiment with great expectations of reuniting our churches back together again. Actually, the intent for the believers is to originate a new decade of service. In kingdom building, somebody shout in kingdom building. We must have faith to enlarge our territories and strengthen our spiritual cords of unity. Amen. I know down in Louisiana with all of the devastation that we've had, we've been at our churches for almost two years and, and still waiting for it to be rebuilt and, and watching church on social media and, and do the various issues, Bishop, concerning returning back to the church edifice. The gospel message is still being proclaimed. Church is one of the main ingredients for productive ministry. It not only strengthens you, but it is a vital catalyst to reaping a great harvest of souls. That's why saints of God are, are not, amen, just, uh, 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 just satisfied, real saints staying at home. Real saints know what the Bible says. Not forsaking the assembling of yourself together. As a man of some is, but exhorting one another. You ought to tell everybody in your house we going to church. Unless there's something happening. I don't understand this new age now. Amen. Got a house full of folk in your house and you're the only one coming to church. Oh, I, I can't hear nobody up in here. Amen. Praise God. I'm not going to pay the rent and pay all the utilities and, and they eat everything up in the house and you almost feel like putting a lock on your refrigerator because, you know, food disappearing and then when you get ready to go to church, amen, they talk about, well, I don't want to go. What you talking about? You don't want to go. Uh -huh. When I was coming up, you going to go to church. Baby, I don't care if you had ACT. I don't care if you had 10 tests. You're going to go to church. Because church was in the blood of the saints. Oh, y'all ain't gonna like me tonight. You're gonna tell Bishop, don't bring them back no more. But thank God that the churches have reopened. And to you that are out there in radio land and out there in social media listening to us by internet, amen. When the Lord bless, find you a church, go to somebody's church. The pandemic plague has captivated global concern. So much that scientists and theologians and professors, billionaires, social media icons, physicians, and many others are perplexed, stressed with unanswered questions and unresolved issues. Let's understand this devastating dilemma we are faced with, not only in the world, but in the church world. If it was possible for the intelligence of humanity to resolve the issues of hand, no doubt it would be a past issue and not a present or a future issue. However, in the midst of all of this chaos that we are facing, casualties we have lost, families we have lost, friends. But how many of y'all know, brothers and sisters, the only hope is in God? Oh my God, hallelujah. I don't know about y'all, but saints, I'm addicted to church. It's a blessing to be alive. And, and, and I don't know about you, but, but I can testify that if it had not been for the Lord, on my side, oh my God. And that's why I learned how to get a radical praise. See, I don't got, amen, past folk, amen, who just come to church to rest and just look. Amen, praise God. But, but, but I, 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 I'm one of those radical praisers. Uh-huh. Amen. Saints, after we have went through all of those things and, and what have we, we ought to be able to do some things. Let, 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 me change, let me change gears right here just for a minute. Let me dialogue with the sisters for just a few minutes. Sisters, the Lord is speaking tonight to us because we are the praying women. We are supposed to be the cunning women, the mentoring women. We are supposed to be the surrogate mothers to young women, young girls, sisters to sisters. Who has been wounded and felt forgotten. It's time, amen, to amen, promote revival so that we can be encouragers, equipped to attend the need, empowered to speak life into our younger generation. Because all women matters. Women of God, be your beautiful self. Amen. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. And God loves us and amen, praise God. But we don't want to get it twisted, huh? 
The Department of Women must endeavor to honor the established foundation of our predecessors. We must remain committed to the values and legacy and biblical principles of holiness, somebody shout holiness, as taught in the Church of God in Christ. The Department of Women must seek to model the love of Jesus in all that we do. World evangelism, better homes, better schools, better communities for a better world. We progress with team effort. Somebody shout team effort. Teamwork makes the dream work. Leadership is not glamorous, nor is it a rapid refund. It's getting down in the trenches of soul winning. Giving up yourselves. Sisters, we all have some type of issues, whether we want to admit it or not. We need each other to survive. We don't have to engage in many wars of jealousy and envy. Why the women ain't saying nothing up in here? And strife and gossip and player hate us. Amen. Be that woman of wisdom. A pattern of good works. Don't trip over, amen, all of this stuff. Amen, amen, concern about your red bottom shoes. I got some, but that's not what's going to get me into the kingdom. Oh, my God. Not worried about all of this other stuff. Watching, amen, housewives of Atlanta and trying to be like them. I want more of God. Uh, no need of being dressed up on the outside, sister girl, but on the inside, you're full of dead men bones. Broken cisterns, tinkling cymbals, sounding brass. It's time to be real for Jesus. Can I get an amen? I realize sometimes we feel as though we are troubled on every side, but you cannot become distressed. Perplexed, but you can't be in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. There are going to be times when you're going to be stung by human beings, but they won't kill you. You're going to be put in the pit, but if you stay with God, you're going to end up in the palace. Sisters, when I look back at mothers who paved the way for us to be committed to leadership, Amen of our church, utilizing our God-given skills in auxiliaries, bands, units, circles, ministries of helps to the local church, the district, the jurisdiction, the national. Those mothers like Mother Annie P. Bailey and Mother Maddie Carter McLaughlin, Mother Emma Crouch, Mother Willie Mae Rivers, uh, Mother Barbara McCool Lewis, uh, even the international missionaries, the bishop wives, superintendents and pastors wives, the many women who have labored in the vineyard of ministry, they was dedicated to committing soul winning for years. It grieves my heart to see young women, mature women, intelligent women, educated women become complacent, just church going, this is women's night. Women that are caught up with their own fleshly desires, tell somebody she's not talking about you. Not a going nowhere to inspire other women. And see, when you have nothing to give in ministry, you can be a dressed up missionary going nowhere. Ah. Attitudes with the church. He told us to go into the vineyard and work and, 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 and stop aiming, fighting over positions and who's in charge and who's not in charge. And when was the last time you fell on your face and prayed and asked God, Lord, whatever you want to do to me, have your way. I can't get no help up in here. It's not the white habit or the black habit that anoints you. No need to put the white habit on during communion and special occasions and the heart is blacker than a thousand midnights. The habit is just the ecclesiastical uniform or protocol. It's the ecumenical attire of the Department of Women. Come on, sisters. District missionaries, why? Why are you giving out light 
license to women that don't even want to teach Sunday school, don't, don't even go to Sunday school, don't even believe in tire pan. Tell somebody she's not talking about you. Don't go to Bible study. Don't support pastoral, amen, efforts. Don't like the pastor's wife. Just mad at everybody full of the devil. Got a Jezebel spirit. Y'all ain't going to like me. Eh. Oh, my God. I'm not talking about y'all, so y'all get with me because I don't have much longer. I got to hurry up. Listen. Jezebel has crept into the church of God in Christ. It's not about the lipstick and talking about, hey amen, the prostitutes out there on the street. But it's talking about, hey amen, the women in our church. Oh, I'm getting ready to turn a curve. Brothers, I'm going to help y'all. Y'all stay with me. Uh -huh. See, I've never seen so many dogmatic, bossy women that, that want to boss the man, I, I can't stand it. I, I don't like that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't, I, every man ought not to, amen, let a woman make him, amen, be, be, be so soft. It, you sit down over there and you do this here and, 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 and the man tired of dealing with your foolishness and he got to get in the car and go take him a ride and then you on the cell phone, where you at? Don't worry about where I'm at. I had to get away from you. Y'all ain't gonna like me up in here. Wanna boss the church, boss the district, boss the jurisdiction. Boss everybody at the house. But then when you go to your house, demons walking all through your house. No power, no anointing in your house. Ah, that's, why, that's why Jezebel got in trouble. It wasn't because her lipstick. But God said, when you start messing with my prophet, you start messing with my preachers. God ain't never sent no woman to straighten out the preacher. Y'all ain't gonna like me. Uh huh. He sent another man, another man to talk to him. David looked out the window and saw that woman. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And David's flesh rose up, and David said, "Baby, baby, baby, I gotta." Uh -huh. uh. David messed up, but one one day, David, David said, "I." Uh, I got, I got to get rid of this stuff. I got to come to myself. Uh -huh. And the Bible said, hey, man, let, me, let me just kind of, kind of, kind of shape it up. David went in and shed himself up with the love of his soul. And David said, my sins are ever before you. He said, in other words, I messed up. I did some crazy stuff. Uh-huh. And God said, David, I know you messed up. He said, but I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then David, church, amen, his, his kin folks and his church folks. So I said, David ain't changed. But David said, I'm a new man. I'm a new man. I, you know, I'm not doing the same thing I used to do. Uh-huh. But let me get back to this here. Uh-huh. See, when, 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 when things happen in the church, we as women, we've got to be women of wisdom. And not, amen, going out and tearing down what the leaders are trying to build up. This is why our churches are leaning on the everlasting arms, amen, numerically now. Because as soon as they bring people in the church, amen, that, you know, we, we got this stuff now. You don't want to help nobody. And time the folk want to come in the church. Then you got a group, amen, of, 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 of women that supposed to be, you know, godly women. But they know it all. And then they want to go getting, you know, handkerchief, throwing over the girl. The girl just got in the church. Uh huh. Now you want to bring up everybody else's skeletons, but what about them skeletons in your closet? Uh huh. What what all of that stuff? Tell somebody say she's not talking about you. God is sending a message. Women, we have, amen, these different appointments and things to go forth in ministry. If you do ministry in your local church then you ought to be a blessing in your district. If you're doing district work, you ought to be a blessing in your jurisdiction. And no missionary, I don't care if you can preach like, hey amen, Paul, I don't care who you preach like. You don't ever leave your church going, hey amen, Tom, and I'm going to preach for Pastor.
Pastor Bobo and your pastor don't know where you are. Y'all ain't gonna like me up in here. It's getting quiet, it's getting quiet up in here. My bishop know where I be going. Even though he's not my pastor, but he's my bishop, my pastor know where I um, go. Oh, 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 my, my, my. Because they watch for my soul. I'm not so grand that I just go everywhere and I'm going all month long. Don't never pay no tithe at my church. Oh, y'all, oh, brother, after a while, after a while, we're going to get there after a while. Just say, we're going to get there after a while. Uh -huh. See, God is sending a message to us tonight. The people who once was called the salt of the earth, the lights of the world, the ransom of the Lord, the called, the appointed, the anointed, seemingly has taken time off in the spiritual realm and said, well, the people are scared to go back to church. So many of uh, the once named saints have decided to just go with the norm. They are saying the norm says this, but guess what? Guess what? Let me enlighten you. The norm have you still shopping and you ain't scared. The norm has you going to work and you're not scared. The norm has you going to the game, you're not scared. The norm has you going out to eat at the restaurants, you ain't scared. The norm has you picking up baskets of food from the pantry, you're not scared. The norm got you going to the barber shop, the beauty shop, the nail shop. Oh, oh my God. It's time to delete the dead stuff and set a new passcode. Somebody holler, what is the new passcode? Revive. It's a blessing to be in the presence of the Lord. David was asking the people to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, and, and David said, I was glad when they said unto me. Uh, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm feeling better now. Oh, thank God we are here by the grace of God. And, and, and when, when I get to the house of the Lord, uh -huh, you won't have to sing 15 praise and worship songs. Or, 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 or the musician play until they fall out in a frenzy. It's time for new testimonies and new expectations. I know you've been going through and at times dealing with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, but again, I hear David in the 34th Psalm, leave on holy writ, and he said, amen, I have family trouble. Uh, I've had flesh trouble, but, but I'm getting my spiritual swag back. Uh -huh. I will bless the Lord at all times. I didn't mean to go there yet. Uh. <laughs> His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. Uh, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Uh, David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Uh, I don't know about y'all tonight, but I'm glad to be in the number one more time. Uh, I'm going to make a joyful noise unto the Lord uh, with gladness. Uh, I'm going to come before his presence with thanksgiving. Uh, I'm going to enter into his gates with thanksgiving uh, and enter into his courts with praise. Uh, I'm not going to sit between sadness and madness, uh, but I want to get between goodness and mercy. Uh, I want to get with somebody that's breathing. Uh, ask a neighbor, neighbor, are you breathing? Uh, the Bible said, let everything uh, that has breath pray the Lord. Uh, how bad do you want to embrace revival again? Uh, somebody shout, Lord, uh, revive me again. Uh, I submit to you tonight. Uh, it's time to cry out to God. Uh, will thou revive us again uh, that we may rejoice? Uh, so the proclivity requests of urgency. Uh, is a similar paradox uh, of the psalmist David uh, in chapter 51 uh, David said Lord uh, I'm messed up uh, but I need you to have mercy uh, hallelujah uh, in spite of his self argument uh, that apparently derives self uh, 
contradictory conclusions uh, by valid deduction uh, from acceptable premises. Uh, David allows his flesh uh, to override his godliness. Uh, but God in his amazing grace uh, said, David, I forgive you. Uh, so I heard, uh, I heard Brother Matthew pick it up. Uh, and said, God said, uh, when he told Jesus, uh, said, go out there and talk to them fishermen uh, that's out on the bank there. Uh, it's time for you to put your pole down. Uh, in Matthew 5 and 6, uh, and said, blessed uh, are those who hunger uh, and thirst uh, for righteousness, uh, for they shall, uh, somebody shall shall. All of God shall be loaded. Uh, all of God shall got magnum for us. Uh, for they shall uh, be filled. Uh, this is not predicated uh, per denomination of plea, uh, a title of position. Uh, but if you are serious uh, about signs and wonders uh, and miracles in your church uh, and want your jurisdiction uh, to become alive, uh, you got to tell God. Uh, Lord, I, I need a suddenly uh, move of God, uh, but the question still remains, uh, how bad do you want revival? Uh, revival means uh, drawing near to God uh, with the expectation uh, of him drawing near to us. Uh, you see, you see, when revival comes, uh, God's people will hunger for righteousness. Uh, worship uh, and yearn to be in the presence of the Lord uh, when revival comes uh, God's people uh, will be drawn to him uh, your faith will become activated uh, this is not a gender message uh, just to the women uh, but it's a mandate uh, and a prophetic word of encouragement uh, to the body of Christ uh, the prophets and the men of God uh, have not experienced uh, the new dispensation uh, of the Holy Spirit uh, at that time uh, so Joel uh, somebody shall preach Ruby uh, Joel uh, delivers a message uh, to the saints uh, during his day uh, they had God's presence with them uh, and they were actually engaged uh, in signs and wonders uh, because God ordered it uh, but they still didn't have uh, the power down on the inside uh, but I heard uh, I heard uh, I, I heard uh, I heard Joel say uh, God said it tell y'all uh, that it shall come to pass uh, afterward uh, that I will pour out uh, my spirit uh, upon all flesh uh, your son and your daughters uh, good God almighty uh, I feel like preaching in here uh, shall prophesy and your old man uh, shall dream dreams uh, your young man uh, shall see visions uh, and also uh, let me cut through the pastor now uh, your handmaids uh, your missionaries uh, they ought to get another deal uh, so when revival comes it's needed uh, the love of God uh, people have grown cold uh, my God uh, God said you're so cold uh, I wish you will make up your mind uh, either you gonna be hot uh, or you gonna be cold uh, God said you're making me sick uh, to my stomach uh, I feel like throwing up uh, because you got a form of godliness uh, denying the power thereof uh, look at y'all sitting down looking at me you make me look like you ain't got nothing either uh, but I heard the Lord say uh, I want you uh, to stop whining about the losses uh, and give me praise. Uh, Jesus came uh, that you might have life uh, and more abundantly. Uh, somebody shout yes. Uh, I searched all over. Uh, I couldn't find nobody. Uh, you asked the norm group uh, what can wash away my sins. I said nothing but the blood of Jesus. Uh, the norm group bishop uh, said what can make me whole again. Uh, I said nothing uh, but the blood of Jesus. The norm group said, uh, what about the blood? Uh, I said the blood uh, of Jesus. Uh, it gives me strength uh, 
from day to day. Somebody shout, yes, yes. I'm about to close now. Oh, bless his name. But I heard the Bible said, it's time now to delete and set a new passcode. Somebody shout, what's the passcode? Revive. If you want to see a mighty move of God in this season, you must start out with a new mindset. Delete the past and get rid of all of that foolishness. Tell somebody, let it go. You got to change seasons. Bless the Lord. It's not how you jump, but it's how straight you walk when you come down. Somebody shout, this is another season. God want to pour out his blessing. Good God from glory. See the change. David was a shepherd. The next season he was a king. Ruled within the field. The next season she owned the field. Mordecai was sitting out in the public space. But next season he was governor of the state. Paul was a persecutor to the saints. But the next season, he was preaching to the saints. Joseph was in the pit one season. But the next season, he was in the palace. One season, they crucified Christ. But the next season, he got up with power. Somebody shout power. He got up with power in his hand. Somebody shout yes. So I heard James said, you got to get it together. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. So let me go on here to my text. I can't give you all the exegesis of the text. But I can tell you this. There was some men that was out there. They could catch the devil out of a man's son. Jesus said, the reason why you don't have no power, Jesus said, I want you to go to the upper room. Somebody said, upper room. And stay there. Stay there until you're being endued with power. Somebody said, power. Power from on high. Power. Uh, And I heard the Lord said, if you want the power, oh, taste and see that I'll be good to you. If you want more, you got to get hungry. Somebody shout hungry. You got to have a suddenly move of God. And the Bible said, hang with me there. Prayer is the key to being revived. Pray. Until something happened. So those disciples messed around and went to the upper room where the women was. Women, y'all ought to get happy now. The women were up there saying, Lord, have your way. Lord, send your help now. They were trying to help Lord. And the Bible said, the more they prayed, the more the Lord came. Somebody shout out the wild. Good God from glory. I feel like preaching here. The Bible said after a while they heard. The Bible said on the day of Pentecost, the time was fully come. They were in one place on one accord. And suddenly, suddenly, good God Almighty, suddenly, suddenly, suddenly. They heard a sound from heaven, huh? like ever, but what's the mighty wind? It filled all the house. Huh? Peter stopped cussing. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Huh? They didn't get drunk no more. Judas, huh? he had already committed. Huh? Oh my God, huh? let me tell you something. Isaiah said, huh? they got it like Jesus wanted. Huh? Said, Lord, if you need me, here am I. The Bible said, uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, somebody shout the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost fell in the cross stand. Uh, 
the Holy Ghost fell in the pulpit. The Holy Ghost fell in the music department. The Holy Ghost made the missionaries lose their hat. The Holy Ghost, somebody shout the Holy Ghost. Me on social media till I can't do like I used to do. Go ahead. Ooh. Oh. Oh. The Bible says suddenly there came a sound from heaven, like as a rough and mighty wind. It filled the house where they were sitting. The Holy Ghost. Come on with me, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, set up on them, hallelujah, that's why I need the Holy Ghost to keep in on the inside, when I want to do wrong, I say Holy Ghost, set on there, when I don't want to do what the pastor said, I say Holy Ghost, set on there, when I get an attitude, I say Holy Ghost, Set on me. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. Set on me. When I don't want to give right. Set on me. When I don't want to talk right. Set on me. I feel a fit now. Set on me. Somebody set, set, set. Set on me. Set on me. Until I get it right. Set on me. So I love my sister. Set on me. Somebody shout yeah. Somebody shall holy go set on me. Look at your neighbor, your neighbor. I don't know about you, but I got it. Tell them if you got it. Come on, tell them if you got it. You ought to show some sign. Look at them again and say, if you got it, you ought to clap your hands. If you got it, you ought to do your dance. Oh, if you got it, you ought to clap your hands. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. the fourth night this is the fourth night put everything down out of your hand M mama see 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 come on, come on. if you got it let me see you clap your hand okay now get everything out of your hand Get everything out your hand. Ask your neighbor, say, if you got it, you ought to show some sign. Ask your neighbor, say, when was the last time that you gave God praise for everything that he done for you? I got it! 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 I 
don't feel no way time I'm too far from where I am Come on now, I don't Don't believe 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 Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. I don't feel no waste time. Come too far from where I started from. Yeah. Nobody told me that the road would, would be easy. Oh, I don't believe he brought me so to leave. Everybody get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Just get your hands up. Come on, to Lord Jesus. Come over your mouth, to Lord Jesus. Here I stand in this holy place. Lord, forgive me for every sin, anything that's not like you. Lord, I say yes to your will, and I say yes to your way. Lord, I'm asking you tonight to revive me. Revive me again. In the name of the Father, name of the Son, name of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, you may be sent out. I don't do anything unless I ask the bishop. I need every person in here that can get a $40 seed in your hands. I'm going to share $100. Because I ask God, I, I, I really don't need the table. Just hold the basket. I don't need the table. Yes, sir. Move that table. And I'm tired, so I need y'all to come quick. If you can give $40 tonight, I'm going to give $100. And if you can give $100, if anybody else want to give $100, whatever y'all going to give, come right quickly. And brother, you can stand right out there. Y'all get up right quick. Come on, everybody. If you don't have $40, bring $20, bring 10 bring a seat. This is Women's Day. And everybody can walk down here and bring your money. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Now, see, if y'all was in our jurisdiction, they would be already running around. You can give on Giblify and Cash App, all right? It's on the screen. Give on Giblify and Cash App. I'm free! I don't I'm free! Believe. Praise the Lord! I'm, I'm free! free. No, longer no longer bound! No longer bound! No longer bound! No chain holding me! me. My, my, my soul! soul. Oh, it's just a blessing. 
Lord bless mother as she comes. Bless her now, God. Give her strength in her body. Mother bring it forth in her. Thank you, brother. I am free. Touch now in the name of Jesus. Touch now, God. Hallelujah. I'm free. Brother, why you got your hand up back up there? Just lift your hand again. I'm free. I'm free. Raise your hand back there. I'm free to walk right. I'm free to talk right. I'm free. What I've been through before. Come on, baby. Oh, uh, I'm free. I'm free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, share your gift on the screen. I'm free. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm free. I'm Bless the gift and the giver in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's say amen for one of the greatest bishops in the world. General Board Bishop, put your hands together for none other than my friend and our bishop. Pray for me. I'm through. Oh, I'm free. Yeah. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Oh, yeah. I'm free. Come on, help me say it. I'm free. I'm free. Free. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Well, what a word tonight. Glory to God. What a preaching, anointed woman of God. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, women can preach. Hey, the scripture says, your sons and who? Daughters. Shall do what? Prophesy. What you think prophesying is? That's preaching. There's the foretelling and foretelling. Amen. Prophecy comes in foretelling and foretelling. It's two different kinds. She just got through preaching and prophesying tonight. Help me say, wow. Now, if you can't get excited about God's gift, then something wrong with you. Amen, somebody. Thank you, YouTube and Facebook, for joining with us. And thank you for giving. Uh, I'm looking for Brother Murray. Please pin, if you haven't already, in the uh, Facebook, in the chat, so they can know how they can continue to give. That's Givelify, and there's Cash App, the dollar sign. Ohio South J1. I want you to sow that $100 seed, that $40 seed. Let's connect together and believe with this woman of God, especially the wonderful ones of you that could not make it tonight. I need to know that you're giving from, call those different cities that we're in. Uh, you're giving from Cincinnati. Come on, give me. Hayton. Columbus. Dayton. Columbus. 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 Youngstown. Columbus. Hamilton. What? Somebody said Little Rock. What'd you say? Amen. Well, maybe Little Rock. Out Memphis. Amen. I even sent a link to our national supervisor, Mother Lewis. So California sent some money over here to Ohio. Michigan. I sent it to the whole general board. I said, y'all got to watch tonight. So all of y'all 
Hankers and the newest general board member. I need you to send 300 tonight. Amen. Just God is good. What a word from the Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ohio Southern Jurisdiction, for being here. Give yourselves a hand again. Look at God. Did I tell you? Vanders White, did I tell you? I told y'all this. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Let me tell you something. And you women that heard this, this was God exposing you to some other levels of teaching and preaching. And you'll never be better. Watch what I say now. Don't take it wrong, but listen to it. You'll never be better until you respect better than you. Did you hear that? I love good preaching, Star Wars. I love good preaching, man. I know I'm not the best preacher in the world, can I tell you? Because we ain't never heard him. The best preacher don't even have a microphone. He's somewhere in the field and preaching to cows or doing like David, preaching to the sheep. The best singer never been in a concert. Amen. Nobody ever gave him a love offering. Did you hear me? Michelangelo was asked, what is your best painting? You know what he said? I haven't painted it yet. I need you to point at three people and say there's more to come. More to come. More to come. You don't know who's sitting in this audience. Amen. One of them, a little Neville sweet odds there, may be the next, you know, uh, Karen Clark Sheard or whatever. You don't know who God's going to use. Amen. So always respect other gifts around you. Oh, thank you, Evangelist Ruby Terry, for blessing us. I know it was God. Did y'all hear what she said? She got up at 3 o'clock this morning to go to the airport, and she didn't get here until what, about 5? 5.30, so she hadn't had, this evening, she hadn't had a chance to rest to do anything, and to get up here and do all that she did, yeah, she sung, preached, and, and everything, Lord, I don't know, Lord, I need to go get on a plane and come back, because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, <laughs> amen, Lord Jesus, I didn't helped her preach tonight, I'm tired already, God is good, thank you for being here again, and listen, tomorrow is our uh, breakfast. We haven't had a breakfast in the jurisdiction in two or three years, maybe longer. I don't know when y'all had one last, but uh, we're going to have it. I want to thank uh, Pastor Nevels and the hospitality have prepared the Perry Center. So we're going to be right down the walkway there. And uh, Superintendent Anamusi is our speaker. I think he went in the back in the morning for the breakfast. That's at 9 a.m. Our hospitality team. Uh, Mother Brooks told me, uh, Brown told me that they have a great breakfast. Ooh, she was telling me that in the day session what she had. She said, not just grits, but butter grits. Ain't that something? Hey, man, I'm going to go to the hotel and do some sit-ups so I can eat everything they got. Hey, man, I did go to the gym, worked out this morning, got a little swim in so I could eat whatever I want to eat. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Mother. I appreciate what you're going to do with all the other things they have. You have something from hospitality tonight? Yeah, y'all so faithful. Hey, Amen. And Mother, you've just been dressed up every night. I don't know what's going on here. Is that what's going on? She had some fancy shoes on this morning, y'all, though. <laughs> Amen. Bless y'all. And then we're going to have um, Pastor Sam Moore, the Conqueror's Church out of Michigan. He is one of the directors of our uh, church growth in the National Church presiding bishop appointed him to this position. Uh, he's a retired fireman, a tremendous, powerful man of God. I love this man of God. His wife works for Delta, so he's been flying all day too trying to get here, and we're thankful uh, that he could be with us. He's going to be teaching in the morning after our breakfast when we come back to this session, and I want him to come and tell you real quick some of what he's going to talk about. And those of you that are tuning in from afar, you can tune in to our day sessions. Amen. I had people telling me they were watching our day sessions this morning. The women, ooh, they worked this morning. Lady Nevels, they worked. The ladies, ooh, they did a great job this morning. Yes, Mother, you got a lot of stuff over there today. Well, come on, come on say amen for Mother. Amen. My respect to the pulpit associates and to Supervisor Ruby Tim, Terry. Yes. What a word, what a word, what a word. Just what we needed. Amen. Amen. Just what we needed. And I just praise God and thank her for all she said because we need a revival. Yes, yes. We need a revival. A new, revive me again, Lord. I need a revival. Amen. Yes. Oh, we have a picture for her. A 
Uh, can you just sit it right here? The basket. This is for her. Just sit it right here. We also have a uh, basket, I mean, a gift for our supervisor. She's not here, but uh, her son is here. Oh, great, great, great. Okay. We have a basket also. So, uh, did you bring the basket? What's that? Did you bring her basket? No, ma'am, it's in my refrigerator. Gerard told me to put it in the refrigerator. I didn't know. Okay. All right. Who is this one for? I'll give it to them for you. No, 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 no. I'm talking about for the supervisor, Renee Brandon. Okay. All right. We also have a, a gift for, is that for Lady Perry? We love you. We love you. We're praying for you, Lady Perry. We also have a gift for Mother Perry. She's not here. Is Courtney here? Minister Perry? Okay, well, we'll see to her getting it. Someone can give it to her. God bless you, and thank you so much, hospitality. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let's praise God tonight for the word of the Lord. Wasn't it a blessing to us? Were you blessed by the word of the Lord tonight? If you were blessed, I want you to lift your hands right there and say, Lord, I receive it right now. Hallelujah. We praise the Lord. We're honored the Lord to be here tonight. Amen. To all of the Lord's people, certainly we give deference to our Bishop, Bishop Brandon Porter. Let's praise God for our leader tonight. Amen. Our Bishop designate, Bishop Carter. Bishop Desmond Carter, amen. We enjoyed it. our speaker tonight. To all of the Lord's people, all of saints and friends, our guest bishop. Listen, tomorrow we're going to have an amazing session. Somebody shout, amazing session. Amen. As Bishop stated, amen, I am a part of the National Church Growth a team, amen, under the leadership of Bishop Roderick Hiddings, amen. And uh, we've got some exciting things, but tomorrow we'll be sharing, amen, a powerful session Amen. It's called the three steps to church growth post COVID. Now, uh, you've got to follow me a little bit because if, if you, you follow me, you'll find that I give action plans. I just don't give information. I give action plans, how I present. Amen. And you will leave out of here enlightened with some things to do. Amen. Uh, to advance your ministry. How many know this is your season for momentum? Amen. Evangelist preached to us tonight, but I want you to know, amen, that if the Bible, how many know the Bible is right? Amen. The Bible is right. So I want you to know that nothing has taken God by surprise. Amen. Amen. COVID didn't take God by surprise. And he said that the kingdom would suffer its violence, but we can take it by force. Amen. Amen. And so listen, I want you to be here on tomorrow. We're going to have an amazing session. Amen. As our bishop has said, I want you to begin to enlighten people and share with folks tonight. Start texting friends. Let them know you're going to go. Amen. You're going to share the life with them tomorrow. Let them know they need to be here. They need to be in the present, in the place. Amen. We'll offer an opportunity, Bishop, I believe, for Q&A as well. So if you have questions, I'll be ready to answer questions and, and help and aid as much as I possibly can. Amen. I'm telling you, you're going to be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Come on, give God a praise as our bishop comes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Quickly, I stand before you to promote tomorrow night in uh, Extensius. Tomorrow night is our... And I, 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 I say this with great emotion as the Bishop Brandon B. Porter tomorrow night as he will lead us in his final message as our interim bishop. We want to show our love. Now listen, we, we often say like and share I ask you to quickly text your friends, your family, your loved ones. They need to and want to and must be here on tomorrow night. The Lord knew exactly what we needed in our jurisdiction. 
And uh, as Bishop Sheard said to me, he said the Lord spoke to him and said that he sent the kindest bishop on the general board of the Church of God in Christ. And that is Bishop Brandon B. Porter. He has been our guiding light. He's been our inspiration. He has been an encouragement. He has prayed for us and called us all individually and told us to hang on and hold on because better was coming. I need somebody to shout that better is here. My God. So tomorrow night's going to be powerful but emotional. We want to prepare ourselves to be a blessing to him on tomorrow night. If you have active pledges that you have not fulfilled, please, beloved, fulfill your word. The Bible declares that our word is our bond. Come on and bond with Bishop Porter. Let him know that though we release him from his assignment, he will never be forgotten. He will always be a part of OSJ, always. And so please come in here as it is stated, tomorrow is gonna to be a powerful day from nine to going to Pastor Sam Moore. Thank the Lord for bringing you here safely to us. It's been a pleasure speaking with you on the phone and coordinating with you. And we are going higher in the Lord on tonight. I don't know how much higher we can get, frankly, honestly, but, but I know the promoter himself, the, the, the son of the late Bishop Porter. Uh, your, your dad would be so proud of you and what God is doing, not has done, but what he's doing in your life. And we're connected to Bishop Brandon Porter. So I want you to get a spirit of excitement within you. And let's come in rushing in the door on tomorrow night. There are going to be great surprises, great increase. And we know the Holy Ghost is going to have his way. Come on, let's hear a quick word from our bishop designate, George Carter. Come on, clap your hands up for him. Amen. God bless you. I echo the sentiments of Superintendent Salter, and I just personally want Bishop Porter to know that I appreciate the spirit that you left here. And this wasn't rehearsed, Bishop Porter. I want you to know personally that I really appreciate you. Amen. It means the world to me, and I'm going to do everything in my power not to let you down. First of all, not to let God down. Amen. Amen. And I want to thank you. But I'm not a man of many words unless it's necessary. But on tomorrow night, we want to show you, not just talk. We want to show you how much we appreciate you. Are we going to do that, Southern Ohio? Come on. Are we going to do that, Southern Ohio? Come on. Let's show Bishop Porter that we appreciate him. Come on. Come on. Raise the roof off this house. Hey, 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 hey. Glory to God bless you. Amen. Have your seat. It sounds like y'all just put me on a ship and put me out of something. No, God bless you. Love you. Seriously, come on up with me, Bishop. Seriously, this is probably my last convention with you. And I know, I know. Say it again. Say it again. That's right. I know, I know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm with you in ministry, okay? And I'm supporting this man of God that you, that many of you requested. Amen. And so I'm here. So most of my, rest of my tenure, uh, Dr. Terry will be pouring into him and the leaders around him and to you uh, to keep you built up. Amen. Because God's got better coming for you. Say amen for Bishop Desmond. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I guess we're ready to go home. Amen.
Didn't you enjoy that word? Amen. Amen. Evangelist Terry, we really appreciate that word. My goodness. And I don't know about anybody else. But listen, we're getting ready to go home. Sometimes we pour into so many people's lives. And then sometimes we find ourselves empty. And it doesn't matter what your position or title is. Every now and then we should ask the Lord to revive you. Yes, sir. Amen. So we thank you. Amen. Thank God for you, Southern Ohio. Amen. We're ready to go home. Let us stand to our feet. I'm going to ask. Amen. 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 If Administrative Assistant Dargan would dismiss us on tonight. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. I'm still feasting. I know some of you are too. But it's time to go home. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you now for how you move by your spirit tonight in this place. How you touch, oh God, this body of believers. Now, Lord, as we get ready to leave this place, but not your presence. Keep us, oh God, in peace and harmony with you until we come together again. The words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And we say together, Amen. Let's try that again. Amen. God bless you.